Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now for my own self situation, I just need to address the elephant in the room. My skin! What is going on with my skin please? I actually don't understand what's going on with it. Every day I wake up with a new spot. Like it's it's become normal now. I wake up, yep, yeah, new spot today. What are we gonna name her? This one's this one's Janine. I think what it could be is that I've changed my diet. The weird thing is that I've changed my diet and I'm like 10 times, a million times more healthy now. So great, you start eating healthy foods, cut out all the junk and you get spots. So make it make sense, please, because I'm actually not okay with it. It is a Monday. I'm feeling really positive today. I feel like we're gonna have a productive day today. We're gonna have a productive week. Last week wasn't so productive. I literally, I mean, when I say I sat on the sofa every single day and just watched films, I really do mean it like it has been abysmal. I've been doing absolutely nothing. The apartment is really, really messy. I have got so much cleaning to do. These videos seem to go down really well. Like I spent so long making hauls and try on videos for you guys. And I just like vlog my week and you guys seem to enjoy those videos more, which is so, so easy to make. The boredom is real. Like I'll actually need to show you in a second what we've installed on the door to try and fill some of the time we've actually installed a basketball net. Like it, it's gotten that bad. You've probably noticed my plaster finger. Like I had a major issue with some DIY removal of acrylics. We won't get into that because an ambulance was needed. It wasn't. It's currently about 11 o'clock and I need to have some breakfast. So let's go and do that. This is actually gonna be a good way of me logging how much water I drink today. I'm going to try and drink three of these. These are one liters, one liter each. Um, you guys know I always go on about how I really struggle to drink enough water. Um, but this has been helping me so much like with this sort of like little bit of a weight loss journey I'm on at the moment. Um, just to still clear that Love Island weight that I gained, which I was never able to lose because I'm just so bad with these Kind of things um so yeah i'm going to be drinking three of these today and i'm gonna log it i just received a really exciting parcel this morning that i've been waiting for for a few days the lovely lovely grace beverly actually sent me some bits from shreddy she saw in my story that i was posting this ugly ugly pooey protein shake breakfast every morning and she was like no we just can't have that so she sent me some amazing flavors salted caramel ice cream flavor peach tea flavor chocolate cookie dough oh my god what french vanilla unreal and then there's loads of bc is it bccas bca bcaas that just goes to show i have no idea about fitness and health and all this stuff um but yeah thank you so much grace and shreddy for all of this stuff oh my god i just realized it is um invisalign day well it was meant to be invisalign night last night and i completely forgot so let's go get my next invisalign and see if it fits because i'm not gonna lie i haven't really been wearing my invisalign that much this week i've been really naughty and i've been like basically only wearing it at night i only have three invisaligns left until my bottom teeth are gonna be straight i do still have that massive gap a T and I two your bottom teeth here, but it's fine. To be honest, this isn't actually that realistic because I wouldn't normally put in a new Invisalign in the day. I'd put it in before I go to bed because it is quite painful. So obviously if you're going to sleep and you like sleep through the pain and you don't really feel it and then when you wake up, you're just kind of used to it already. So let's see if this fits. Sorry, I don't know why I'm literally having a dentist appointment with you guys. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't want to see the insides of my mouth, but look, that's just what we're doing now, okay? So let's go for it. Okay, okay, she's in. It fits really well, actually. It's not like, it's not too tight at all. Well, I don't know, actually. It's a little bit loose. Actually, I don't know if I feel a little bit, if maybe I should wear my one I've got already for a couple more days. Now, do you know what? We'll put this in tonight. We'll just endure the pain. It's fine. The pain's not actually that bad. I say endure the pain. Like, when you're obviously sleeping through it and you wake up the next day, it's, it's really not that bad. So I'll just take this out for now. Sorry, not very attractive for my own. That has got to be the most unsexy thing ever. Like when you're in a restaurant and you've got like a big slivery Invisalign to take out. I've actually been loving this milk recently. I've been seeing it on a few girls' Instagram stories saying, oh my God, this milk is amazing. So I picked it up in Asda the other day and uh, I absolutely love it. It's so much nicer than soy milk. It has a way nicer taste to it. I don't know why I'm measuring it out. Like I don't know how to make a protein shake. I make a protein shake every single day and I have never in my life used a Pyrex jug. So why am I using a Pyrex jug, please? Like what, what am I doing? with being on camera with no makeup on 
but today like with this skin this bit of hair is playing me like that needs a grip in it um yeah today i just feel i'm having an ugly day okay like all girls we have these days where you just look in the mirror you're like okay that needs to be fixed i'm just gonna pop some makeup on for the day i do need to get some instagram content today tommy is out training he has his fight in like two weeks which is so exciting friday the 27th of this month i think it is need to double check that bt sport make sure you're watching it when he gets back i'm gonna hopefully get him to take some instagram content for me because i'm a little bit behind which as per usual is just the case of me yeah i'm gonna do my makeup so it's done for that and so that you guys don't have to keep looking at this situation because trust me i i feel bad for you i feel bad for your eyes was it all fake dead my sister just sent me this tiktok all me and my sister do every single day is just send each other tiktoks basically what our relationship consists of so like we don't ask each other like how we are or how's your day or morning it's just tiktoks back and forth and she's just sent me this and this is what's wrong you bought my fails um no pippin i just i just don't think i was really prepared like, oh, she like, thinks this is me when I failed my driving test, then, to be fair. Like, like, I just stopped right yeah. next to the vehicle. I didn't realise the power of parking. Is that you had to actually pull in? I'm sorry, but that's actually me. And I'm actually crying a little bit because... The accuracy is real like when i failed my driving test a few years ago and i've like briefly mentioned it a few times like it was without a doubt the most traumatic experience of my whole life i rolled down a hill backwards and nearly crashed into a brand new range rover and i had to like she had to pull the handbrake up and do an emergency stop that like there was a row of cars behind us i burst into tears on the test she suggested that we get out of the car and swap seats so she could drive because it was almost like i was that nervous and that overwhelmed that i just completely forgot how to drive my driving instructor was like yeah 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 you're really ready to take a test i was like i don't really know how to do a hill start like i don't really know what a lane is i don't really know what's going on here but okay if you say so no worries did the test traumatized traumatized and <clears throat> And obviously then I started driving lessons here in Cheshire where we live now and the driving instructor blocked me. He actually blocked the girl from my management, Ellen, who was in contact with him blocking my lessons. He blocked her. Like, no word of a lie. Like, I thought we were best mates. I thought we were getting along really, really well. And one day she went to go book my lesson with him and literally on my full family's life the, the driving instructor had blocked her. Like, and it, either he'd blocked her or he's like switched phones or broken his phone but then like as a driving instructor like your lifeline is your phone because that's how you get in communication with your clients anyway that's how that went i had five lessons with him paid for 10 by the way and now we can't get hold of him so love that for me i'm just here for an unproblematic monday so we're not gonna think about those things today recently i've been getting so many questions asking me what are you using on your brows at the moment like your brows are looking really different like what are you doing differently to your brows and <sighs> I can fill you in on that now because I'm just going to release all my secrets. My brows have been done by Refi. Done by Refi. That rhymed. Um, yeah, so this is Refi Beauty. This is Jess Hunt's brand. And I actually did mention that I was using the Refi products for my brows on a Q&A of mine on Instagram. And when I say my DMs blew up of you guys asking me to review it and like show you guys how I use it and stuff, you guys are so interested by these products. And I think it's because it's kind of similar to filter in a way, isn't it? Like when you when an influencer brings out a new beauty product or a beauty brand, I guess you guys as the consumers want to know like if it's any good and if it's actually legit. It is scary to try a brand new brand. But I'm here. I'm here to tell you this stuff is legit. This stuff is honestly unreal i actually misplaced my pencil the other day and i had to use the old pencil that i used and my brows look like slugs they look like slugs look how thin it is please you can't even see because it's that thin it's not even focusing look at that hang on let me just scooch it up a little bit look at that for someone like me that isn't that good at makeup and isn't that good at brows it's a game changer because if you make a mistake it's not really obvious because the, the pencil is so 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 small and fine like you can just sort of go go crazy with it only but apologize for this lighting that's the problem with using natural lighting like when the sun 
goes in and out, it changes. But I have filled in my brows now with the pencil. And step two of the little three stage process would be to go in with the pomade. So the pomade is made up of this little angled brush and then you unscrew the bottom, which I think is really cool. And then the product is inside here in like this little tiny pot. So super good for traveling, like if you have a small makeup bag. And I actually saw Jess do this really cool thing this morning where she did like brown eyeliner with the pomade, which I'm actually gonna try not today because I'm on camera and we're not gonna be experimenting today, but that is something that I wanna try with that. But then the third step of the little process is to use the brow setter. So it's like a brow gel. Um, it looks like this. And this product is... I've been using it every single day since I got my Refry products. It makes your brows so super spiky, but not like crunchy. You know, some brow setters that like make your brows go really crunchy and then like almost the hairs fall out because of how rock hard they go. You don't get that with this. This part is really cool. Inside here, inside the lid, you get this little like brush it up brush, which gives you that, that laminated brow look. I don't always do this part, but it is nice if you want that super, super spiked up brow. If this bit of hair wants to test me anymore today, I'm gonna go mad. That is my little new brow routine that I've been doing for like the last two, three months now. And I will never ever go back to anything else now. Like my brows look super, super clean and tidy when I use Refi. And by the way, guys, this isn't sponsored. I know that sounded kind of sponsory. It's actually not. Jess is a good friend of mine and I think she's absolutely killed it with these products. And I've been getting so many questions about my brows recently and I never, ever, ever do my brows on camera. So there you go. I do you think it sometimes sells out quite quickly, but next time she does a restock, get on that ish. Right, so the rest of my makeup is done. Now I need to go and sort my hair out because I haven't washed it in about five days and I just didn't feel like washing it today. So I'm gonna go and just do like a tight bun, slick back situation with a load of gel. I'll Lunch is next. I'm just having a meal prep from Gaines Kitchen. If you guys do follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, you will know that I, this is literally all I've been eating now for the last, how long? Months? Two months. Two months? Yeah, we've been eating these for like two months now. On our, well, he's got how much weight to lose before the fight? No weight. He's got like nine pounds to lose before his fight, and I'm just trying to be a bit healthier at the moment, anyways. Mmm. Whoosh! I've been using metal straws to drink my drinks these days. I don't know why. I just feel like they taste a bit better when you drink it with a metal straw. Delicious. Why does it look like I'm wearing bright orange glasses? That's weird. They aren't that. They aren't that orange in real life. They're like a faint yellow. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm ready to get some Instagram content. Tommy is gonna get some for me outside the front door of the house, which is where we literally. I mean, I've literally got 100,000 pictures there in the last few weeks because where else am I meant to go? Like, I can't exactly leave the front door. So. Sorry about the boring Instagram content recently, guys, if you had noticed. I mean, they're really in at the moment, these, like, tainted frames. So I did order myself a pair. I got a pair from ASOS, and I also got these ones from Jaded. Um, I potentially may have... I mean, I can't give anything away, so I don't even know why I thought I would say something. Because we've got something really exciting coming soon where this might be involved in it. Some other things might be involved in it. Some cute outfits. I mean, just take a guess. I can't say anything, obviously, but... COVID's not over, but we cannot sleep in 2021. We still need to get things done. And yeah, these orange glasses, I mean, they definitely are not this color in real life. I promise I don't know why they look like that. But just trying to stick with the trends, you know. This week, I got some new Balenciagas. I literally live in my Balenciaga tracks. Um, the white ones, I live in them all the time. So I picked up this new colorway, which is the gray pair. Um, I'm obsessed with these these are so nice. i think i'm gonna pair them with this outfit actually because even those two different grays i still i think that could look quite cute so i'm gonna wear those now and then i also got these this pair which are super controversial but i'm absolutely obsessed with them they're like the high top versions of the white tracks that i already have and i'm sorry but i think they're absolutely beautiful they are definitely a love hate situation like most of the things i buy but um no i'm really really here for them all my friends absolutely hate them um but sorry about it because i love them i've just shot some instagram pictures so that's all good i'm gonna edit those up now and now i'm just gonna sit and watch a little bit of twilight the only problem is in the daytime you can't really watch tv that well because of the light from this window it shines on the tv and all you can just see is a big pyramid of light really first world problems um, but i'm just gonna chill on the sofa now for a bit not too much tommy's asleep napping in bed with ellie belly so i've just spent the last hour 
sorting out the kitchen, tidying a few things up, organising some stuff, you know, on a Monday. We need to get organised for the week. I should have done a before and after on my camera of what this looked like before. There was literally stuff all over this surface. So I have um, just taken some time to clean it. I've just lit a couple of candles. Everyone gets so bothered when I light candles that are different scents. I can understand why, because obviously the scents mix, but I just like the apartment to smell of like loads of, I don't know, just smell, just for it to smell really nice. These ones are from Airwick. Um, they sent me these actually. So thank you Airwick for sending me these. Oh, what is that? Oh my god, that's actually protein powder everywhere. I did a really good job at wiping these surfaces down, didn't I? No, I think that's just spilt now because I've just made a little protein um, basket here. This was a basket that all the Airwick stuff came in that they sent me and then I've just put all that protein from Shreddy in here just to store that away because I didn't actually have anywhere else to put it. And in doing that, I managed to get protein powder everywhere. So I'm just going to clean that up. That basketball thing is a bit of a problem. It's an eyesore. I don't like it, but... It has been keeping us quite entertained, I hate to admit. So it can stay for now until lockdown is over and then it's absolutely going. Um, but these flowers, I actually combined two bunches that Tommy bought me this week. He bought me these roses. Then he bought me this little bunch here as well and I just combined the two. And the colours actually go so nicely. So I'm sorry, but I'm actually a florist. Speak of the devil. Hello. Hello. Did you have a nice nap? I did, had a shower, freshened up, tidied the clothes. You did the clothes. Oh, we've got some clothes over here that I need you to tidy as well. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Tommy is over excited because he got a shaker this morning that's two litres. So if he finishes this, well, like if you have like two of these and you can drink four litres very easily. Just, uh... I've just covered it in protein powder. Sorry. So this is meal number two, again, from Gaines Kitchen. So we've got halloumi, new potatoes, sweet corn, because it's my favourite vegetable. I have it with pretty much every single meal. Then it's got some, like, sauce on it here, just to make it taste a little bit better, because it literally is just, like, cheese and veg. <laughs> Tommy is out again for a run. I'm left here alone again, like I am every single day. Obviously, I did used to live by myself in Manchester for like two years before I met Tommy, so I am very capable of being by myself. It's just, you know, I prefer to not be. I'm gonna try these BCAAs um, from Shreddy. They're the cloudy lemonade flavor. I put like 20 blocks of ice in here because don't know about you guys, but when I have a cold drink, I like it to be so cold that it gives you a brain freeze. Like, I love freezing cold drinks. Anyway, cheers. Ooh! Damn, that is, like, zingy. Hey, y'all. So, it's actually a couple of days later, and I haven't been vlogging. I'm so sorry for the abrupt ending of me drinking BC... A's, which by the way, I've now been told that you're definitely not meant to drink if you've not done a workout. So I love that for me. Like, anyway, I've just edited this video and realized it's actually gone quite long. So I'm just gonna keep this to one day in lockdown with me and I'm gonna bring it to a close now. I do live in black hoodies, don't I? Like I think pretty much the whole way through this vlog I've been wearing a black hoodie. They are different black hoodies. I love you all so much and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.